Good evening and a happy new month to you. We thank God for a new month. We trust that you're already enjoying your month. Started on a restful note and we believe that God is going to cause us to, to just coast, to enjoy, to bask in this, under the sun of righteousness. In a few moments, Pastor is going to come to take us, you know, more into the midweek service. So sit back, relax, get ready to be enriched, to be blessed, to be impacted, to get a word for the month. Please don't be distracted. Thank you for joining us today. We trust that it's going to be a really, really, really blessed session for you. So just enjoy and welcome to service. Hallelujah. I'm so excited to join you again today and I'm joining you today with all my amazing friends here. We've just had a beautiful, beautiful time of prayer and we've been standing in the gap, trusting God to, to get a peep into the month. Not because of the month, but because we understand that God is a God of times and seasons. And as the Bible says, there's a time for everything and a purpose to every, a season to every purpose under the sun. So it's important to know what purpose is for each season. The turn of calendars remind us of the gift of time and the purpose of time, that all time is given for purpose. And if you do not use time for purpose, you miss, you miss the benefit of, of the gift of time. We don't have breath in our nostrils for its sake. It's not so we can elect or choose to go our own way. We have this thing so that we can you know, serve the ends of the Lord. And as a church, we're very particular about that. So uh, welcome, happy Workers' Day for, 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 I mean, to all of us, everybody works <laughs> one way or the other, whatever it is that you do. We trust God that the Lord will continue to enlighten you uh, with the wisdom and, and with grace to be up and doing and to excel. Your, your success and excellence serves the kingdom, people. God is very, very, very mindful. I mean, you must be very mindful of the fact that God wants you to be an excellent worker. Whatever it is that you do, you must do it well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our God created the heavens and the earth and His work has stood the test of time. Jesus did the same thing, recreated us in the new creation. And that work also is standing the test of time. It will not lose any one of us. So happy Workers Day, everybody. Uh, may it be a month that's fruitful for you. Amen. All your labors will yield a harvest of plenty. Amen. Everyone who goes out to labor, you will come back with sheaves of gladness in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord blesses your, 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 your labors. The work of your hands prosper. Clientele will increase to you. Patronage will not cease in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I quickly remind you that through the entire month of, of uh, uh, April, we, we worked hard at understanding that in the light of Christ, we see the heart of God for us to enjoy fullness. Jesus said, I have come, they may have life, not only to have that, but it says more abundantly. That means there's no part of your life that God wants left out of this life. The life of God is like the sun whose rays reaches the ends of the earth. So think of your life as the world. The rays of the light of God touches every part. And we labor to understand that, to see that the day has now come, the night is gone. And in the day we see in Jesus Christ who God is, a Father whose heart is for you to have fullness. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible tells us that if you did not spare Jesus, he shall with him give you all things. And it says, no good thing shall he withhold from you. So we don't want you to let go of that because we have entered a new month. We're not, we're not canceling what we've spoken to declare a new word. What we're saying to you and what I'm saying to you today by the Spirit is that you have to stand in that. Galatians 5.1, if uh, I may just quickly read that to you to remind you today. Galatians 5.1, just give me a minute to quickly uh, get that for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, today we prayed. We prayed for everyone trusting God that we would, would experience the grace of God. Let me see if I can read in the NIV very quickly. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. It says, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. In other words, we are not set free so that we can be bound. We are set free so that we can actually enjoy and experience that freedom. But we are told to stand firm then based on the fact that he has set us free. Stand firm. 
then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. What am I saying in essence? Everything you had last month requires that you must war. You must war. Fight to defend the liberty that Jesus has brought. All that we have heard requires that we resist the devil consistently. We convert those words to our sword. Remember Ephesians 6 is the sword of the Spirit, is the word of God. With it you contend. Declare that I am a, a free calf broken out of the store. And all my life in the name of Jesus, I, I stand under the Son of Righteousness. I have no boundaries to the left, to the right, up, down, backward, and forward. In the name of Jesus, everywhere is open territory to me. As far as my eyes can see, that's what he said to Abraham. And as far as the sole of my feet threads of corn, he has given to me as a possession. So all of you, you are entering into your industries and taking grounds. No more limitations, no more, no more boundaries for you. You are breaking out of the stalls of holding. And in the light of Jesus, you see that there's nothing God does not want you to have. You are smashing that exam. You are entering into marriage. You are having your own children. Your, he your health is excellent. Amen. Your parents are doing well. Amen. Your finances are going up. Hallelujah. Amen. The borders of nations are open to you. Amen. All of it because you fear the Lord and you serve His hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So friends, now that we know He wants us to be free, to enjoy all that, that He that took, the image of God said we couldn't enjoy. I want you to fight for that freedom. You know, the posture of, of, of war in the New Testament is a stand. And it's a stand because we've been given all things. We only stand to defend it. We're not chasing new territory. We're not trying to get anything new. Praise God. Amen. So keep that in mind and do not miss that. But in this month, we sense that it's a season of benefits. You know, it's Workers' Day. Yeah. It's Workers' Month. Yeah. And when workers retire, what do they get? Benefit. Yeah. The work is done already. We are just in benefit. I hope you know. Yeah. yeah. What we are working is the unveiling of the things that Jesus has worked. So in our own lives, the way people work and then they retire to benefit. Jesus worked. We entered into yeah. benefits. That's it. The way Adam was created on his own first day was God's rest. God's last day. God had done the work. Same thing, Jesus said it is finished. Mm. So I declare that this month is a month of benefits for you. Remember mm. Psalm 68. Let's see Psalm 68. What does Psalm 68 say? I believe it's verse 19 there. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Where are you? Psalm 68, when I need you. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God. Glory be to God. Let's see what it says. Psalm 68. Is it verse 19? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, it says, Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, who daily loads us with benefits. But I love this translation. It says, Who daily bears our burdens. Yeah. What do workers do? We bear burdens. Mm -hmm. You go out in the morning, you are thinking of the burden of you know food, how to sort out your family, needs, cares, the bills mm -hmm. and responsibilities. Yes, that's what you think. But God is saying, in this season, he loads you with benefits every day. In other words, all that you need to carry your necessities. There is no day in this month of May that you will not have it. Amen. Every stretch of your hand will return with fullness in the name of Jesus. The ideas that will open you to the channels of supply, where all that God has provided will be your normal on a daily basis. They are open in the name of Jesus. Amen. The people who are necessary for your inching forward and advancement, they flock to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The secrets that you do not know, information, knowledge, counsel, and wisdom, necessary for advantage, this month you have them in the name of Jesus. Amen. God doesn't do it on occasion. God doesn't do it once in a while. God has not left it to you. He says he daily loads you. He's done it. All he just does is to lay it on your back. That go, take this and enjoy. Remember in Israel, when manna fell, enough for the day fell. There is no day you will lack. Enough for each day will be given to you. We enjoy surplus in this covenant because God has tied men to us. Those we should care for, he gives us grace. You know the Bible says, bear one another's burdens. 
So if we're going to bear one another's burdens, it means that we're going to have supply enough to be able to carry the burden. That's what the Bible says. So I declare that this month, not only will you daily be loaded to benefit, but you have benefit enough to spill over to others. Mm. Nobody around you will lack in your presence. Mm. Because you are there, every necessity will be met in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's not a lot today. We're just going to declare the word over you. And uh, I want you to remember that as you enter into the consciousness that benefits are available for you daily, don't forget to stand in the victory that you have received, the freedom. The Bible says we will leap like cows, we will break free from the store. Don't forget to enjoy the freedom that you have received now. Hallelujah. And I want to take this occasion to then pray for those who don't have any work. Because sometimes people can say they don't have work. But the Bible teaches us that in the last hour, the master of the field said, come into my vineyard. Whatever time you have lost, because that's what the Bible yeah. says, they got the same thing. Everything that seems to have been lost, those who seem to have gone ahead of you on account of the fact that you've been languishing for a while, may God count your waiting as work Amen. and pay you equal measure, Amen. even exceeding measure in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Any time that sickness has stolen from you, any time that waiting has stolen from you, any time that anything legitimately you could not have done something about has taken from you, God will pay in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare this month that it is payday in Jesus' Amen. name. Every sacrifice and labor in faith, in ministry, in honor of the Lord, God will keep account. The Bible speaks of the king of Persia, hallelujah, of Medi and Persia, uh, Zexis. It says he could not sleep. He opened the books to check those who had done the king good and were due for honor that he had not honored. And he found the act of Mordecai. People will look at their phone to remember things you've done. And they will rise this month to do you good. Wow. Everyone who has labored, the Bible says, is worthy of his wages. This month, your wages in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it's the wages of Christ's righteousness. Amen. Even those who are deserving lawfully to suffer for errors that you have made. Christ pays because he has paid. We bring forth the name of Jesus and we relieve you and release you from what is due. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we speak over the franchise this month that we will walk in benefits, health benefits, joy benefits, faith benefits, prayer benefits, word benefits, love benefits, marriage benefits, children benefits, growth benefits, our nation, Nigeria, will walk in benefits. Amen. In the name of Jesus, great leaders, conscientious leaders, people who will fear the Lord and will do right by the people. God will cause his force to go through the corridor of power and everyone shall be raised to the height of God's demand to do good by the people, especially his church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. hallelujah. Bless you for joining us today. It's not a lot. We just wanted to declare by you in the month. Tomorrow we'll be praying and taking this point of prayer that I've prayed into in greater detail. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. I'll be leading that prayer because the first of the month. I want us to I want you to join in. Uh, details for a link to, to the YouTube will be put in the comments somewhere on YouTube here. Click on it. Join us at 9 p.m. and let us heartily pray together. Time is subject to God. God, yeah. you don't, God has already lived the 30th of May. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He sees everything in one stretch. And the Bible says he has made all things beautiful. The beauty appointed unto each day will not pass you. Mm -hmm. You will not miss one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I, as I said, I'm standing with all these brothers and sisters because we have taken time, hours today to pray, to pray together strongly, just asking God that it will be a great month for you you will advance further in the course of God. I want you to believe it, to expect it. Wake up every day and just look for benefits yeah. because they are waiting everywhere. Wake up every day and expect benefits. You know, Jesus, when we started the year, we told you about the harvest. And one of the things that Jesus said in John 4 is that you are entering into the labors of others. Yeah. yeah. So as we are entering, entering into the labor of Christ, people also in your family life, father, mother, uncles, aunties, things that are due them, people will find you and give it to you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody will remember what your dad did 30 years ago and say, are you this person's son? Are you that person's daughter? And everything will soap in on you. Things will just come together this time. 
ridiculously you find yourself on heights you cannot explain in the name of Jesus. It is payday. It is a season of benefits and it will not fail because God said it's daily. It's an appointment that cannot fail. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days. These are the benefits. God will carry you. Remember when we studied Malachi 4, we said he carries the sheep. So he will carry you. He's leading you to green pastures. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Benefits of ideas for somebody. Mm -hmm. Benefits of creativity for somebody. Mm -hmm. Benefits of connect for somebody. Mm -hmm. The benefit of visibility. Somebody will see what you do mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. The benefit of mention for some of you. Someone will remember you. Mm -hmm. The benefit of remembrance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The benefit of healing. Jesus said healing is the children's benefit. Bread. That's what it means. No sickness will survive in your body. Mm -hmm. The blood of Jesus Christ, which is a mark of not only the sacrifice that has bought you this healing and peace, but also a mark of your lineage, connection, now a joint with Christ. What is not in the family of the Godhead will not survive in your life. Amen. Anything that does not happen to God will not happen to you. Amen. Because your life is now, is now his life. Whatever does not plague God will not plague you this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As long as it's a benefit, you will experience it this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We love you dearly. I'm sure the details of the offering will, will uh, scroll on the screen now. Please make sure that this month don't play with giving. It's not because we, we want to take advantage of you or take your money. No, 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 no. As believers, we are responsible for the work of God on earth. He provides for us to do his assignment. So yield increase and make room for more. That's how we do it. And we pray that God who is able to cause all grace to abound to you. We cause grace to overflow to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That you have all sufficiency for every good work in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And then on Sunday, remember to join us. It's Thanksgiving. We're just going to be celebrating the grace of God. And you know, just dancing ahead of the benefit to be experiencing and sharing the word, pray for the service, invite somebody, help make sure that church is always full because this word is worthy of hearing. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus is worthy of eyes beholding and what they see of him changes them forever. So we're hoping to see you on Sunday early, 10 a.m. Be seated, get ready, put everything, any distraction aside. Know that you are having fellowship with God and with brethren and together we will obtain the fruit of all that we have in Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And uh, make sure also, don't forget tomorrow, join us for prayer. And this will repeat itself all Thursdays in the month. We'll be here, you know, teaching the word of God and just having fellowship together, studying the word of God, mining all that Christ has laid in the spirit as treasures for us. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Let's share the grace together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now forevermore. Thank you everybody. God bless you. Thank you for, yes. for joining us. Wish somebody a happy new month. Happy God new month. Uh, 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 welcome to Benefits. Bye everybody. We'll see you in church on Sunday. God bless you and a prayer tomorrow. Bye. Thank you Jesus.